Hello and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. This is just a quick video uh, to have a look at the painting guide for the burning of Prospero. I thought it was a particularly good one, that's why I'm doing a video on it. Mm -hmm. uh, again, same price as the other painting guides, it's £6. It's um, Horace Heresy sort of. Oh, it's got the Horace Heresy look on it. it. So it just looks like one of the Horace Heresy books, which is quite nice, nice little sort of touch. I'm seeing something and, I like already. As you can see from the index, there's a lot of stuff in it which isn't actually just from Prospero. So we'll take a look at it. We have a little bit of blurb about Prospero. Again, I'm not going to read through this. <clears throat> um, it's, it's all stuff that's actually all really in the Prospero book, really. Uh, and then there's a little bit about Space Wolves. And you can see some of the models there. And then we've got a Thousand Suns. And you can see some of the models there. And we have this cool picture of the Thousand Suns. The various kinds of armour that they've, they've got on. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So then the first painting guys actually the space wolves so these are obviously pre heresy space wolves so they're not using the space wolf grey they're actually using mechanica standard grey so they're a bit greyer yeah whereas modern space wolves are like wolves, blue aren't they like? or a blue grey because space wolf yeah. is that, that sort of colour but this is obviously the original colour for them uh, so I'll be painting them pretty much like this to be honest I don't think I'll be deviating from this at all to be honest uh, when I do the space wolves prospero um, so we've got, yeah, we've got base coat and shading, we've got a layering, and then we have some tips on how to paint the lenses. Now this also includes lenses of different colours, like blue and green. Obviously you can see there, that's got a purple armour on, so it's obviously the Empress Children. Mm -hmm. I think the blue one above it, I think that's actually the Iron Hands. Uh, above that we've got some, uh, the simple red one, which is uh, blue light like glaze. So, Gives you some different lens colours you can paint, and spatial ones specifically that one there. Uh, then we have dry brushing, showing off dry brushing techniques. As all, as all the paint guys do, they, they've got the same format, mm. um, and then texturing for the base. Next up, we have the custodian guard. Oh, this would be me. So. In this version, you can see that they've actually undercoated it in Retributor Armour. And you can see this is what we're trying to achieve. This guy's... you do that helmeted one, haven't you? I've done a helmeted yeah. one, yeah. Um, so starting with Retributor, it's a lot like painting a uh, Sigmarine. Mm -hmm. I mean, Six, Stormcast Turn. Stormcast Turn. <laughs> just call them Sigmarines, don't I we? Think bit, we're a bit them. naughty, really. Yeah, everyone starts calling them that. But um, it's pretty much exactly the same paint scheme. And then we come to how to paint the details on the sword, which is really cool. You can see there you got the lightning bolt on. Um, it's a really good guide on how to do it though, so if you've never done anything like that, which there's, I even, haven't. there's even a top tip there. Oh good, I can have a read um, of that. It's, it's a case of using a very fine brush and <clears throat> you literally you could just copy what they've done there. Well, actually I'm not, I've not done the sword yet, have I? No, you, you'll be getting another. I will be doing one, though. Yeah. <laughs> So, again, faces, metals, then we've got Sisters so cool. of Silence. This is what I want. Uh, these are really cool, all of the purple cloaks. Oh, it's purple, is it? Not red? Yeah, they've done the cloaks in purple. I oh, remember. purple and black. I think that really works well. It does, actually. Uh, if I was going to paint them, I'd paint them just like that. Yeah, you see, red. I was going to do them in red, but that's intrigued me. That's pretty awesome, mm. I think. So starting with Chaos Black and then working up with Blotlock Bronze. So there's a lot more bronze in the gold. Yeah. I like the colours they've chosen on that one. It really does stand out. Um, so that's think. working up from black, isn't it? That yeah. one, yeah. Luckily they've already sprayed yours in black, so you're right. Yay! Uh, but starting with Blotlock Bronze and then coming up to uh, Brass Scorpion. Brass Scorpion. Scorpion. Then Agraxnet and finishing off with uh, Runefang. Uh, that's really simple. It is. They're all. And yet the silver just brings out the gold. Rune fan makes all the difference. You have Stormhost Eternal as well. Is it Stormhost Eternal or is it just Stormhost? I can't remember. The new oh. silver one. That, um, that looks pretty cool. So again, going into the, the plumes, the cloak itself. So you paint the cloak and the tabard in those colours. Mm -hmm. um, we've got, uh, sorry, plumes of the skins are. And then we've got the fur on the back, which is in white, which does actually stand out against the purple really well, because white and purple go yeah. really well. Yeah. Uh, so if I was doing purple robe, it would definitely be that white, colour. white, yeah, definitely. The, the, I just think the colours they've chosen in this really show them off. 
Yeah. You can do them any colour you want, but I, I, I do like these ones. Blue gems. Then the bolter casings and the details. So, uh, next up we have Gregor the Fellhander. Here he is. So it gives you a nice in-depth guide on how to paint him as a special character, which is quite good. So we start off with the armour, same as the other Space Wolves. And then we have extra bits like the claws, the actual wolf on the pelt, his hair and his face, and the gemstones on the banner. Next up we have Arum, again. It's not an in-depth guide to Arum, unfortunately. They seem to have skimmed a little bit on, on the Thousand Suns, which is surprising because they're the new faction. They're the new faction, Because yeah. they've done Space Wolf painting guys before, so I'm a little bit disappointed on on this bit. Uh, it's not a big issue, really, for me, because I know how to paint them. Um, but anyone who wants a proper guide knows how to paint armour, it's not a complete guide. Because, for instance, the purple in the middle of the gold uh, doesn't tell you about that. We've basically got the base coat, which is good, we've got the gold, which is good. We turn over, it tells you to do the cloak and the metal. I very I important, to do the, blue. the blue glow. But it is missing some details off that. Unless you go back to how the sisters' cloaks are painted, the purple on that, and whether yeah, you do you could, the same... You could basically transpose that information. But it should say... But it should tell you that. Yeah, the purple look at page whatever. So... Mm. And also, there's no guide on how to paint the Thousand Suns, as, like there is with the Space Wolf, not oh. an in-depth guide. That's, that's my second complaint, and they're both around the Thousand Suns, because they're the new chapter, we've seen Space Wolf guides before, it's a different base colour, yeah, yeah. it's also basic. We do have this guide, but I would have liked to have seen some Mark III armour painted up as well. That's probably, I um, wonder if that's why Duncan's done that one on the On the warm on the TV. Web. It's a very good one as well. If you've not seen that, go and check out Warhammer TV. Yeah. Double one for each. They're also very good. Um, I like the book though. Oh yeah. I've got to say I like the book. N nothing against it. It's but... good. It, there could have been a couple of other things in there, like I said, but it's good because of what comes next as well. Um, so we got the Thousand Suns in Turner, and we got the Space Wolves in Turner. We've already seen to paint Space Wolves twice now already, anyway. So they have included them again. For completeness of what comes next, which is every other legion. Awesome. So we have the Dark Angels in their original black. <laughs> we have the Ultramarines in a darker blue. That looks like Which looks better to me. They look like Emperor's children. Almost. I think that's why it looks better. Yeah. We've got the Imperial Fists coming up from white there. Blood Angels. Cool. We've got the Iron Hounds. Awesome. The White Scars. Yeah. We've got Sons of Horus. Oh, that's a nice I wanna, one. Yeah, I want to stop on this one because I've, I've always had problems painting Sons of Forest. Because every time I've tried it, they come out really green. Can I just say it looks like Halo? <laughs> yeah. It's like it's, a Halo green, isn't it? Yeah, it's like Master Chief. Almost. Yeah. But it's a minty green, but I like it. It's a nice colour. I think, I think it works for the Thousand Suns. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, Sons of Forest. Sons of Forest. Even. Um, I like that one. So... If I do do some Sons of Horus, I'll paint them like that. Mm. Uh, Empress Children are next. Yay! So there's like a nice little guide for when Claire comes to paint hers. <laughs> and then we have uh, the Night Lords. Is it? No, right, the right page. Night Lords, the World Eaters. Which is, I think, near enough what I. I think used. that's a lot like the Use the Forge World guy, which is very similar. Yeah. I think the only difference is I use Techless Blue on yeah, the... Yeah, they've, they've smeared him all in, in Blood God as well. Mine are very clean. Blood God. Blood for Blood God. Blood God, yeah. You might, you might want to just spray yours. <laughs> yeah, just flick it on. We have Death Guard. I'm sure I've missed uh, Salmon's out there. They are in there. Okay. I must have skipped a page. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Word Bearers, Iron Warriors. There they are. Because uh, yeah. I missed them. It's all on Zara here. I've seen them. They're just hiding. There you there go. There you go. Raven Guard and the Salamanders. Uh, I'm still looking for the colour to paint my Salamanders. <laughs> yeah, you weren't you weren't impressed with this colour, were you really? I just think it's too bright, but then if you go the other way it looks too camouflage. This is somewhere in between because what they do, they've got the bright warpstone glow, but they're highlighting it with Elysian Green. Doing the edge highlights, it brings that down to sort of somewhere in between. I still think it's a bit bright, but I'd be happy to paint them that colour. 
with the highlight of his Elysian Green. It's not so far off how I painted my house Cadmus Knights, mm. to be honest. Uh, it's just the Warpstone Glow would you know, need to be toned down a little bit more for me. But not as much as it becomes a camouflage army looking green. Yeah. yeah. It's somewhere in between. It's difficult to do. It should have actually been Dark Angels green, but that's another story. Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously the Dark Angels in this are black. So there we go. So that is the painting guide. Got a little bit at the end with some commonly used colours and then an advert from Ford World at the back. And that's it. So it's a nice book because it allows gives you a good paint scheme. They're all good paint schemes. Oh yeah. For yeah. each legion. I think As it I said, gives you an idea of what colours to use. I mean obviously you don't have to use those colours. I haven't certainly used those colours for my world eaters. But it gives you a nice base colour to use, base coat, you know, it gives you some yeah, they, they, they direction, um, I think. The Death Guard, it's not the same way I painted the Death Guard, but I think it's worked Ooh. really well. We didn't go with the Alpha Legion, we forgot that. Um, they've used Rakar Flesh. Ah. Because at the time I sprayed it in that and then um, inked it in a wash down sepia to get to the colour that was out and then came back up with white. The Rakar Flesh was really good. Um, it's, a, it's a very underrated paint. I started using so. one. I started painting the Dark Elder. Yeah. So by then I'd already done my Death Guard army. Um, but it was really good on the Death Guard. So if you paint Death Guard, wreck our flesh, and then just doing the highlight in between with Agrax, mm. etc. Looks really good. And of course, yeah, Alpha Legion. I'm sure we got to that. But it's a very nice colour scheme. That. Yeah. Nice and bright. Mm. There we go. So that is the book. As I said. For Horus Heresy, it's very good because mm. you've got one of your legions in. Baron of Prospero, it's very good for the Space Wolves. It's okay for the Thousand Suns. It's, that's that's where it falls down a little bit. But for £6, I can't argue. No. no. If I'd had to pay £10 for it, I'd have been a bit more concerned that there was no Thousand Suns in it. I think they've realised <laughs> that possibly. But it is thicker than the other ones as well. Yeah. I was going to say, I think they've realised that most people are probably getting the box sets for the armies. <clears throat> yeah. So rather than just saying, here's the colour guide for the Thousand Suns and Space Wolves, is the rest of them if you want to do your I army don't know and the rest they did, of them. They didn't realise that when they made Calf. Possibly not, because but... that's how everyone looked at it. Maybe they just thought, oh, everyone's going to want Ultramarines and Wordbearers. And everyone went, no, I'm no, just, in a different Legion call. Uh, yeah, and I think with people doing that and possibly putting them in, putting them in for <coughs> Games Day and you such see, that, like... that would explain why they've done this. I think they've thought, yeah. you know what, why don't we just give them the painting guide for every Legion? Hmm. Because some people might want to do it as Space Wolves and Thousand Suns, but yet others might only be getting it for the fact that it's got you know, the Mark MK3 armour in. Yeah, which is my favourite now. Yeah, so they, they want, might want to do one of the other heresies, yeah. so we might as well sod it, give it and, and yeah. see how it goes. Yeah. So there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this video. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a quick look at Prospero, if you hope that says where you want to buy this painting guide. As I said, Warhammer TV has a very good um, painting guide for Spatials and Thousand Suns by Duncan. I watched, uh, I watched that. Yeah, so... I know what you're saying, but you've got all the other legions in there. Yeah, so, so that's why I think it's worth getting for six pounds. Uh, it's something I've been looking for for a while. It's a paint guy for every legion because mm. Forgery only did the first four and stopped. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, um, maybe because they weren't using games workshop paints. But that, that's another story. They were a bit messy as well. Half half of this paint and half of that paint, and then three quarters of this paint and three quarters of that paint. Yeah. I just found it messy, just That confusing. is a lot more straightforward. Yeah. And it looks really good. You have a very striking army from that on the battlefield. Mm. So there we go. So that's, yep. that's my opinion. Yep. Buy it if you want any of the Horus Heresy Legions and you don't, you're not sure how to paint any of them. That's, that's your answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Helps out loads. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.